Hello friends, in this video I will provide you the solution of the NPTEL course The Joy of Computing Using Python by Professor Sudarshan Nayanga, IIT Roper. This is a 12 week course and uh, the, uh, week, the week 5 contents is available here. I already provide the uh, quiz solution of week 5. In this video, I will provide you the solution of the uh, programming assignments of week 5. Here are three programming assignments are given. So, the first programming assignment is you are given a string s. Write a function count letters which will return a dictionary containing letters including a special characters in a string s as keys and their count in a string s as values input and output will be handled by as us you just need to write the function and return the dictionary like this that the input suppose the joy of computing then t comes one time h comes one time e comes one times uh, space comes three times j comes one times o three that, that we have to create this dictionary uh, we have to uh, define a function count later this is the function count later it takes a string first create an, an empty dictionary to store the uh, keys and their count the letter count here now use a loop to iterate our each character in a string so for character in a string that uh, iterates through each uh, character in a string if character is already in a dictionary if character is in already in dictionary then increase the value by one that later count character plus one equal to one that uh, increase the count by one or if the character is not present in the dictionary then uh, initialize the value by one so this loop iterates over each uh, character in a string if the character is already in the dictionary then increment the count and if the character is not in the dictionary then initialize the count by one then return the later count this co code is already given here so this is the code for the uh, function count letters uh, first click on the compile and run to test the public uh, to check the public test cases now the public test cases pass successfully now click on the submit button for the private test to check the private test cases the private test cases all are passed here so this is the uh, function for the count letters that takes the string s and uh, return a dictionary of elements now next assignment is programming assignment 2 of week 5 you are given a list L, uh, write a function unique E which will return a list of unique elements is the list L in sorted order. Unique element means it should appear in list at L only once time, one time only. Suppose this is the list 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 2, 5, 6, 7. So we have to create a list that contains a unique element like 1 only appear in one time, 5 six seven all these are appears one time only so we have to create a function so this is the function definition that unique e it uh, takes a l that that is a list first create an empty dictionary to store the count of each element we have to count the each element so first create an empty element an empty dictionary that contains the uh, element with their count so same similar same loop uh, used here for uh, similar to the previous uh, program previous function use for num in l iterate over each element in the list each element each number in the list if the number is already in the dictionary then increase the count or if the element is not in the dictionary then add with the uh, add uh, that initialize it the with the one. same uh, loop is here the, similar to the previous uh, question previous program 
uh, we have to use the list comprehension to create a list of elements that appear only once then sort it so to sort use the sorted function for sorting this is the list comprehension that uh, stores only uh, those element from the list that are appeared only one time so here if value equal to one then store the uh, key in a list and then sort them and return the unique element so this is the uh, definition of the function unique e so first compile and run for the public test cases <laughs> This is all public test cases passed success successfully. Now click on the submit button for the private test cases. Okay, all private test cases passed here. So this is the week five programming assignment two. Next is week three program uh, week five as assignment four. Here we have given a list L. Write a program to print first prime numbers encountered in the list L treat number below and equal to 1 as a non prime so suppose 1 2 3 4 5 7 6 6 7 8 9 is the list so the uh, first prime number is 2 that in count in 2 so we have to uh, first uh, l is a list that uh, we have to take the input from the list this code is already given here first we have to define a function that checks the number is prime or not. So if n is less than or equal to 1 then that is not a prime so return false. First check if n is less than or equal to 1 then return false for the not a prime number. If, then if n is greater than or equal to 2, two 1 then the greater than 2 then check for factors up to square roots of n. So uh, use the loop i in range from 2 to square root of n plus 1. If n is divisible by i in any range then return false that that is not a prime number or return true. After that return true for the prime number. So then uh, create a function first prime number that uh, straight through each number. If a particular number is prime then return that number or if any uh, number not found then return none so this is the function uh, this is the code to print the first prime number in a list so first click on the compile and run button all the test cases pass successfully now click on the submit button So this is the uh, programming assignments of uh, week 5 of the com joy of computing using python. I will provide all the codes in a description box. Uh, please submit uh, it on or before 31st August so that uh, you can solve this. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video so that I can provide you the more solutions of the assignments. Thank you.